Well, now on your feet at four, Wall Street reacted to the Fed's discussing interest rates today. All indices closed down, and the S&P was the worst at 1.2%. They met today and are expected to make a decision tomorrow. The September Fed survey from CNBC shows most respondents believe the Feds will hike rates about three quarters. This would be the third increase this year. Yeah, the, this is not unexpected. What, what most economists are believing will happen is that the Fed will lower the rates by 75 basis points, three quarters of a percent. Mm -hmm. That number has been baked in to Wall Street for some time because we know from the Fed's comments and the notes from Powell's past comments that it's going to be another uh, price hike for sure, rate hike. What the fear now is is that it will be 100 basis points, a full percentage point, right. which is pretty much unprecedented when you consider that we've already had two huge hikes this year. All of this is being done to cool the economy. Right. They want spending to slow down. The way you do that is you make money more difficult to get. Right. Raising interest rates. And it makes things more expensive for everybody. And that's going to cause people to slow down on their spending. It's kind of this weird cycle, right? Uh, and, and I'm not like a student of economics in any way, shape, or form. Nor but am I. I don't think you really have to have, you know, that major Wall Street brain to understand that things are different now than they were even a year ago, two years ago, five years ago. Yeah. And nobody knows where we're going from here. So it's, it, things are becoming more and more skittish. Yeah. And I think that's, that's impacting a lot of people's decision making. And when, when people don't know, including investors, they tend to err on the side of caution, which sure. means they're pulling money out, yep. which is why the stock market continues to drop. These are big numbers that we're seeing. Right. All right.